gang, it's Jay again, and uh, after making coffee and soup, it's time to refill the old water bottle. So we're going to do a, uh, just a quick how-to and review of the Sawyer Mini Filter and um, how easily it works, alright? So stay tuned, thanks. So I keep my Sawyer Mini in a little Sea to Summit uh, padded pouch. It's easily identifiable with the uh, rest of my gear. So I keep the drinking straw in there. And then I keep the mini itself. And then just the regular 16 ounce bladder for it. Um, so one of the first things that you need to do is obviously fill up your bladder. Sometimes it's going to be a little rough. Sometimes it's easier with running water. But it does work just fine. You can see here, I'm just taking it right out of the river. There we go, we're filled all the way up. One of the easiest things in the world with the bladder, you screw the top right on. One of the cool things is the threading on it will fit your standard size pop bottles or water, you know, grocery store bought water bottles. So if you wanted to, once you have it screwed down, pop the top off. And you could drink right out of it if you wanted to. Works really good and easily. It helps squeeze the bottle a little bit, helps give you a little bit more pressure to come out. But let's say you're filling a different kind of container out of it. So here I'm filling a standard GI canteen. I'm just going to stick that right down inside of it. Move it so you guys can see it a little bit and just start squeezing. Start filling her up. And as you get the pressure going, as the water gets going, it becomes easier and easier. Give you an idea. There, it's coming out. It does take a little bit to fill it all the way up. But you just keep squeezing it, just like the name goes. Sawyer squeeze. Alright, so that's all of that one. We'll go ahead and fill it up one more time. And you just keep repeating until all your water containers are full. Works out real easily that way. So the simplicity is <laughs> really ridiculous here. The other, some of the other cool things that you can do with the filter system is you can use it as a survival straw. You can use it as an inline system with a water with a hydration system like a camelback or any of the other types of reservoirs that one may use. So it really increases your usability. You can also set it up as a gravity filter in a base camp, like out of a big dromedary bag into a bucket. Works out really well for that type of use as well. But for here, just as an individual setup out in the woods along the creek working out of a simple sheltered camp you know that's enough water to get your coffee and your soup and you're good to go so my bottle is completely full it took what just a couple minutes that was it didn't really take any effort no chemical treatment nothing like that you know whatever's left in there drink it right out and away you go and then everything packs down nice and small again. I like to go 
ahead and roll it all up. Something that's important to do is when you get home, you know, go ahead and obviously you want to make sure you dry everything out before you uh, store it away. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I, I keep these in every bag that I have. That, that way, you know, anytime I'm out using a bag, I make sure that I dry out whatever it is that I might have had in there and um, keep it good to go for the next time that it that it gets out. But um, that's it. So Sawyer Mini works out great. You can find them anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks online or in the local sporting goods store, camping store. Um, they work out really nice. So I certainly highly recommend them. I've been using them for years and years. And uh, I think everybody should have one in their bag. Thanks, guys.